Well, today I'm out here with my, we call it the yellow tractor. It's just a lawn, lawn machine. It's a uh, Cub Cadet LT1045. Uh, I got it, had a bunch of problems, and uh, not a bunch, but just like a little bit here, a little bit there, and piecing things together. And uh, I was out working with it the other day. It's been a pretty reliable machine, and uh, it wouldn't start for me. So. It kind of does that off and on. Um, I don't know if it's just the man in me or what, but I turn it on and I hold the key down and it'll like boom. And so I'll give it a whack on the side and it'll most of the time fire up. Boy, I couldn't hardly get this thing fired up. So I'm gonna try and figure it out. The battery is uh, from, looks like 2018 and it's 2022 now. So I'm assuming that's the problem. I had this little, uh, this little charger, go on now. I had this little charger that I kept on for a couple of days and it didn't make much difference. Uh, it's just a like a trickle charger for tendon batteries. So I'm gonna try and fire it up and see what happens. I got this old battery out of my truck. It uh, has a little bit of life in it. It was not wanting to start the truck, but something like this, it should have enough power to do that. So I'm gonna try it out and just try to figure out what the issue is with this thing. So, unfortunately everything's cold and wet and muddy and gross and the chickens have been hanging out in here so I got crap everywhere. But we're gonna work on it and see what happens. So, let's see what she does. Yeah. All right, nothing. Kind of like I suspected. Alright, so I got these these here jumper cables. They're the uh, really nice ones where they were all falling apart and I had to fix them the other day. We're going to hook them up and see if we can get enough power off of this thing to get some work done. So hopefully it's just a battery. I can change that out. That'd be quick and easy. But you never know with these crazy things. You never know. Not that, I don't think. One other thing I can try is hook it to the red tractor back here. See if I can hook it to that battery because I know that one starts. Hmm. All right, so we're gonna have to move some stuff around to do that. Give me just a minute. Alright, well, like I said, I kind of tested the, the energy and stuff. Everything seems to be fine. And uh, I was thinking maybe it was the starter itself. So I stuck my hand down here on the starter, which is this little black cylindrical item. And whenever I put my hand on it to feel if it was clicking, a lot of times you'll feel like a, a hit to it. Um... I didn't feel any click in there, so it seemed like we weren't getting power to the starter. So, obviously the, the problem is somewhere between there, so I'll have you look at this over here. So, let's get the cord out of the way. Here's a battery, right? It's up behind your dashboard. And if you look right under here, this is the back of the starter solenoid. All right, you can't hardly see it, but there's a couple of red wires that hook on to the posts on there, and there's a little uh, slip-on connector here. Um, and whenever I went to start it, I put my finger on there, and sure enough, it was clicking there. So I wiggled some of the wires around and uh, hit the key again, 
and it shot a little bit of sparks out and stuff and uh, fired right up. So, I'm pretty sure I've got me a loose connection. So, I'm going to pull this battery off and uh, try and get up underneath there and we're going to tighten this thing up. All right, well, I went and got the uh, correct tool for the correct job, the universal metric wrench, and we're just going to disconnect the battery and work our way down to this starter solenoid. try. Make sure everything's clear. Got all our stuff off. Everything looks great. Brake is set. Throttle's up. Choke is out. Contact. Freak yeah. You fixed it. Alright. Good deal. On to the next project.